These toys are called mag formers, and you can use them to form all kinds of interesting shapes. They stick together along the edges just using magnets. And the cool thing is they always stick together. There doesn't seem to be any sort of polarity issue with the magnets, which seems kind of counterintuitive. The way to get around the uh, magnet polarity issues is the magnets in here are actually oriented side to side, not this way, and they're in there loosely, which is why they rattle. And that way they can just orient themselves to whatever is next to them. So basically the magnets just dynamically orient themselves all the time. Now what happens is as soon as you have two mag formers on top of each other, the magnets line up with each other and then they no longer rotate with each other. So that if you have two stacks, two pieces like this, they don't necessarily line up the magnets and sometimes they'll actually repel. And so the fun thing, and this is the topic of this video, is manipulating the orientations of these magnets. So if you want to make sure that the magnets all stack together, you just have to put one on at a time and the magnets on the new one will just orient itself to match whatever is there already. But if you put two on at a time, for instance right now these repel because I've actually manipulated these to all be oriented the same way. It just won't go on, on at all because I have the north-south of these. Um, these are actually all oriented north-south, uh, north-south, north-south. But these two are opposite from these ones which means there's there's no way that this fits on there. Any orientation doesn't work. But if I now take these one at a time and put them on, now they stick on there. And given the way I've oriented these magnets, um, they'll actually stick in any orientation. And flipping it over, that works too. So there's a couple of interesting things I can do. Um, let's take some of these. And right now, again, these are north-south, north-south, alternating all around. And that seems to be the natural orientation for these because when these things are on their own and just bouncing around, these two magnets tend to oppose each other because that's the uh, lowest energy state. But uh, let's make one where all the magnets are actually facing the same direction. So we'll take a stack of two. So these are now locked together, but they're locked in this particular orientation. These ones, of course, are also oriented. So if I hold these ones on here and now just pop these apart, and back together, that means these ones assume the magnetism orientation of this one. And let's do the same thing with this corner here. So basically, these two are now in the same orientation. And just to make things easier, I'm going to use this one now and orient these ones based on that. So just popping this apart, which means these now just copy this orientation and do it in this corner. this corner. Um, now actually as I'm doing it I just realized if I pop these apart I'm also doing them in the opposite corner here so let's do this again like so. So now these should all, no I didn't quite do it right so some of these aren't the same. Let's see. No, actually, I do have them all the same way on here. Right, but these ones are not oriented to that yet, so popping these ones on here. Again, by popping them one at a time, I've just copied them, and now it sticks. Any orientation, but if I flip this over, then I have the north and south opposing each other. But of course, I can still stick these stacks together just by flipping this over. Um, a more usual orientation is that these are north-south, north-south, north-south. So let's make that orientation, which means right now these are all good with each other. I'm going to flip over half the magnets on here. And now these should be north-south alternating. No, I didn't get that right. Hmm. Let's see, these are all north on this side. Okay. So let's. So these are now all the same, and now I'm just going to flip these ones here. And let's see. So these are now 
north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. And let's copy that. And we have another one that's the same orientation. And the cool thing is I can rotate that. And in all orientations, all the magnets will stick together. And even if I flip it over, I still have it like that. Because by flipping it, I'm also swapping the north, south on this side. I'm swapping, I'm swapping them by flipping it, but I'm also swapping these two magnets, which means they still match. Let's make another set of mag formers that have the north-south, north-south pattern, but actually have it exactly the opposite way. And I'll just do that like this. And copy this. Copy again. Copy again. So now, these ones are also alternating, but in the opposite way of these ones, which means these will not in any way fit together properly, no matter what I try. It'll fit kind of at an odd angle where I've got these uh, diagonal adjacent sort of magnets. But no matter what I do, these will not stick together. So you can really frustrate your kid if you've got a kid that's really anal attentive. That, you know, you've got these mag formers and they just, they just won't stick. And again, of course, I can just make copies of this. And here's a copy of that. It is very cool how... You can just copy the magnet orientation of these things by popping one magnet on there at a time. Anyways, that's some uh, stupid mag former tricks for you. They really are quite a fun toy. Although, unfortunately, a standard set doesn't contain 20 triangles, so you can't make an icosahedron with it. <laughs>